this is the Moonman M2 as it comes in a box it doesn't come with uh, the ink I mean I've just loaded it with uh, Dye Mine Winter Miracle it's a sparkling ink what else does it come with in the box it comes with an eyedropper so this is, is an eyedropper um, pen so it's pretty nice that they included this the box itself is pretty nice it's a nice plastic box which you can reuse as a as a like a pencil case right which is which is pretty nice uh, inside the box there isn't really anything else it's just a piece of foam and there's some uh, paper inside this is just some uh, text down here to say that the, the pen is made in China and it is it has a fine nib. In terms of what else it says, um, this is in Chinese. Basically what, what it's saying is it's, it's an iridium tipped fountain pen with a fine nib. I guess this is probably easier for most of you to read. Uh, so it, the material that it's made of, it's made of acrylic. So I did a bit of Googling before today's video and acrylic is basically different from regular plastic in that it's, uh, it has a bit of a glass component in there. And uh, which makes it kind of uh, extra see-through, right? So as you can see in this last the, the end of the, the pen down here, you can see that it's it's pretty clear, right? You can see my, you know, my fingers through it. And um, just to describe what the pen looks like, obviously it's, there's not much. It's just a pretty clear uh, pen. I'll just take all of this out of the way. And it has a band down here in red uh, that's that says Moon Man down here. Besides that, if you open up the cap, it's just a transparent cap. And down here is where you would, where I unscrewed the, the, the kind of the, the top, the section up here. And I used the eyedropper, which I showed you earlier on to, to kind of put ink into this section down here. So as you can see, it does take a lot of ink which might be useful for some people. However, I'm, um, I'm, I'm a person that likes to kind of switch pens out and use different pens. So, I mean, I don't really need the capacity, right? But if, if you do, then it's a useful feature. Um, I bought this pen for roughly $8 US. And the reason why I bought this was because of kind of the way it looks. And I never, I never had an eyedropper pen of sorts, which is why I bought it. Um, the nib of the pen is, is kind of different from the other Moon Man, which I showed you the other day, in that it's uh, colored, it's gold plated, although it's probably not gold. Um, it has a fine nib, similar to the other pen, which I showed. And the characteristic of this nib is quite similar to other Moon Man nibs, which I uh, have used in that um, I've just taken it out from the, from the, you know, uncapped it. So basically I'm just going to do my usual A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G. So you can see that it writes pretty well out of the kind of, well, while it's straight out of and uncapped and, and unboxed. Um, however, I have to let you know that I did a little bit of prep again. As I mentioned in the other video, I did uh, I did a bit of uh, pressure, I mean, writing with a heavier pressure to kind of loosen up the nib. The other thing I did was I uh, used a piece of, piece of uh, food wrapper, I mean, uh, like one of those paper bags. And I did plenty of these type of uh, swirly marks on, I mean, to kind of smoothen out the nib. 
out of the out of the box the nib felt a little bit uh, scratchy and the, the ink flow wasn't as good as what you're seeing right now okay so basically um, lots of ink flow uh, so that's one thing which I normally notice about Moon Man pens right uh, they have this little bit of uh, out of the box unfinished feel about it as, um, for their nibs and then you have to do a little bit of prep but after you do the prep um, you know you get a pretty good writing pen in terms of whether or not um, I think this pen is a good buy at eight dollars US I think it's it's pretty much depending on whether or not you like the looks of this pen um, whether or not you you know you would you would see yourself using this pen um, so for me personally it's kind of a novelty pen whereby uh, the main reason why I would uh, kind of show off this pen or use this pen is to kind of see the ink within this clear section down here obviously you can't really see that much of it now because it's pretty much full other than that um, it writes well I wouldn't say it writes uh, exceptionally smooth or ex exceptionally uh, soft uh, or pleasant to use it, it's a nice pen however um, you know that that's just my impression of it um, um, any questions that you have please add them in the comments below um, if you could uh, want to see more videos on my channel please uh, like and subscribe uh, that will really help me in uh, producing more content in the future thanks very much everyone and have a good day